Good morning, this is Bruce on this uh, Easter Sunday morning. Welcome to my shop. And um, what uh, the project that I've I started some time ago and uh, now I want to continue on with it is to do with the mill behind me, uh, the, um, the Jimbo, named after my father. Um, this is a mill that I, uh, I got um, in replace, uh, swapped over from a smaller mill uh, with, with, um, <coughs> with my friend Fred, who unfortunately at the moment is laid up with a bad back and uh, we send him all our best wishes uh, for a speedy recovery, a really bad back. <clears throat> anyway, so when I got the when I got this mill, um, it was in a pretty uh, filthy state. We cleaned it up. We've added added a um, a riser block to it. I've um, I purchased a four axis digital readout. Uh, I fitted that completely onto the machine, including this fourth axis, the K axis here, which is fantastic. It allows me to be able to see all four facets at the same time um, and operate them. This is the original switch that was mounted on, on the head here. Uh, I've mounted a, um, a, a, pull, a pull bar a pull bar um, unit and that's the up and down for that, the opening and closing of the, uh, the pull bar. Uh, on the other side is the the original uh, stop start station which was mounted down below um, so it's it's a bit of all over the place but to get to make to get the thing going now what I want to do is what I want to do is I want to emulate the, uh, the second metal I, w I want to be able to um, to be able to have the controls on the Jimbo the same as on the Thomas. And so for that reason, I've, I want to build a complete control station that has everything in its place. Um, and for that, I've, what I've done is I've or I ordered from my uh, sheet metal suppliers and they've bent up uh, a box which is exactly the same box as this one. Uh, including the fascia fixture, without a fascia, um, and that will and today I'll be welding that together and uh, drilling all the holes and with, with, with the help of um, Gert van der Merwe we're going to uh, do those control stuff. Now, it's not going to be exactly the same. The two, the two mills are, are different in so far as the, um, the Thomas has, uh, has <coughs> both the X and the Y um, and operates through this uh, joystick. Um, I won't be able to do that on the other mill because they're all these manual type ones. Um, so, but this has got, these have got their motors here, all of the three of them have got integral motors, all controlled from here. Whereas with the, um, with the Jimbo, they are those add-on for the X and the Y. The Z, the, the Z is a um, uh, operated one just like this here. So that's, that's easy enough. But I'll make it exactly the same as this so that all my controls are the same. The additional part that I'll do um, is on the side, uh, I'll see if, let me see if we can see it from here. Um, I'll just go up. Yeah, so here's the handle for the forward and reverse. Uh, no, sorry, it's not for it, for the high and low, which brings in the back gear. Now, with the with the um, the Thomas, there's a micro switch on here, and that goes through to the controller. And so, when you switch it from high to so high is normally in, in your normal um, direction. When you turn to low in here, you had then need to have to. Um, 
you then, you then need to turn from forward to reverse. Whereas with the Thomas, uh, that's not the case. With the, with the Thomas, it's got a micro switch. And when you, when you change over from low to high, uh, from high to low or low to high, it's always going to be in the, in the forward position. Uh, or in the, say in the um, uh, in one in one direction, and you you ne you've got a, a press button, so you can press either left or right, you know, sort of uh, forward or backwards, or or whichever way you want to call it, but, um, the rotation uh, direction, whether you want it um, uh, in one direction or the other. So <clears throat> that's the project that um, that I have. Uh, for for the uh, for the Jimbo, uh, so that's going to be ongoing, and I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, thank you very much for watching.